Hi, everyone. Uh, it's Dr. J again. I'm here with Philip, who's going to help me out today. We're looking at a program that was already written with a simple switch statement that allows the user to enter a number from 1 to 7 and receive the day of the week as output. So let's take a quick look at this code. Switch A, C and A, switch on A, and case 1, output Sunday. So the first day of the week here is Sunday. And the seventh day of the week would be Saturday. And as a default, there's a message that says that you entered an invalid number. And thank, very politely, thank you for using our program. So let's try running this, see how it goes. Enter the number to, to change. Four, let's see what day of the week that is. That's a Wednesday. And let's just make sure it works for an invalid number. Eight, invalid number. Let's do one more case to satisfy us. One. Okay, so Sunday. That looks good, right, Philip? Yes. Sir. All right, so what we want to do now really is in introduce, introduce another way of doing this using an array an array of days of the week. So let's uh, leave, enter a number from 1 to 7, leave that, but and leave int a, and in fact we could leave, leave that, well before that let's introduce the definition of the array. So let's declare the, an array of string, type string. Too much, too much. An array of type string is going to be introduced, and um, let's call it um, days, maybe days of week. And we'll make it uh, dimension seven, right? And equal to, let's, whoops, dimension seven, space, equal to, and we'll put in the actual days of the week, Sunday. It's a little tedious, but we're going to use it over and over again. Sunday, Monday, and then Tuesday. Ho hum. And then Wednesday. And then Thursday. Oh, I put a period in. That would be bad. Okay, so up to Thursday. And then we're up to Friday, and we're almost there. We're almost home. Friday. And Saturday. So now we have the seven days of the week entered as an array. At the time that we declared the array, we put the data in. So that's one way of filling an array. Now, the problem with this is that an array begins with subscript zero. So days of week of zero would be Sunday. Days of week of, mon of one would be Monday. And the last one, days of week of six, would be Saturday. So if the user enters one through seven, we really have to subtract one in order to give the user the correct response. So let's, uh, let's not subtract one and see the error that will occur. So it's Sunday is one and so on. Let's, let's try um, changing the uh, code, of course. In the, we don't need a switch anymore. So let's get rid of the switch. Let's 
get rid of the whole switch tape and comes out. And we replace it with one C out line, pretty much. So we could still do an if that makes sure that it's between um, if um, you know what? Let's just for now. Let's just let's just assume any any input is valid. So let's get rid of the, the test, and we'll go C out. The name of the array: days of week. And the user input A for the day for for the actual weekday. So let's put in A and and okay. So what we have here, uh, can I can everyone take a look at this? What 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 we have here is the days of the week in an array. And uh, instead of a switch statement, instead of a switch statement, all we need is one C out, sort of. Let's see if this works. All right, so let's try compiling this and running it. Uh, what went wrong here? Oh, we have an extra right squiggly. Okay, so let's... Uh, Try running, it's compiling and running again. All right, enter a number from one to seven. Give me a number. Five. Five. Well, that gives us a result. Let's try another number. Let's try one. Whoops, I got to run it first. A little too trigger happy. One, that should give us Sunday. Uh-oh, it gives us Monday. So there's something wrong. Let's try running it and enter zero. The user, of course, is not going to enter zero. They're going to enter one through seven. So, but zero is going to correspond to a legitimate entry in the array, Sunday. So we have to make a little modification in the program. Whatever the user enters, we have to subtract one, and then it'll work perfect. So we have to say A, take away one. Do you see that, Philip? Uh, now let's try running. Compile and run. And if we enter one now, we should get Sunday. Looks good. If we enter seven now, we should get Saturday. Looks good. Let's just see what happens if we enter something that's invalid, like eight. Uh oh. We, it's really mad at us. We have what's known as an abund, abend. We abended because, because we went beyond the limit of the array. The array has valid subscript 0 through 6. We put in 8. With 0 through 6 are valid, and 1 through 7 would be okay because we're subtracting 1. So as soon as we enter 8, the program blows up. So we, we could warn them, or we could test. So what do you want to do? You want to test for, that it's valid, or do you want to tell the user enter any other, any other number? To, you can make a loop out of this, enter any other number to stop. You know what, let's just test it to tell them that they made a mistake. See out. Uh, well, we need an if state. First of all, we shouldn't output this unless it's in, in range. So if A is greater than greater than zero and less than eight, and A is less than eight, then we're good, right? That would be one through seven. So then we could do this C out, no problem. And we will never get an error. But we will never blow up this way. But we're not get, we're not being nice to use it in case they enter something that's wrong. We're not telling them that they did that. So we should do that in an else. In an else statement, we should be nice to the user and say, hey, you didn't enter a valid day. 
See how you entered an invalid day of the week. Uh, let's try this now, and hopefully it'll be more polite. It won't just ab end. Let's try it for seven. Should work. Let's try it now for eight. Should not work. You entered an invalid day of the week. So, I mean, it works. Program works, doesn't blow up like it did before. And if, what if we enter zero? We should have the same message. Okay, now one more thing we, uh, we would like to do, and that is allow the user to keep going so long as they enter a valid day. So maybe a while loop? Yeah, I think a while loop would be good. So um, let's try a while loop. While. Uh, what's the condition again? This is the condition. A greater than zero and A less than eight. So let's just move that up there. While. A greater than zero and A less than eight. See how days of the week. We don't need an else. We can end the while right there. Actually, not the end of while yet because we have to read it again. We have to get to the next day. So squiggly here. And just cut and paste these two lines and put them at the end of the while. Control C. Control V. So now we have a while loop. Well, we need to end the while. We have a while loop that only enters a while if the user enters a, a valid number one through seven. As soon as they don't enter one through seven, they get the they don't get an error message. They just get thank you for using our program because. Um, because it, let's put let's change this message. Enter number one to seven. Uh, any other number to stop? So now we could test this program, and it, and it should be easy to test it for every day of the week. So let's try it for for Sunday. Let's try it for Monday, try it for Tuesday, try it for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Now let's try it for an invalid number. Looks good? Yeah. Oh, I think we'll stop right here. Thanks so much, Philip. Appreciate your help.